Two other measures of central tendency that are really important are the median and the mode. Let's start studying the median. The median is a numerical measurement that we can symbolize with M that satisfies the following. No more than 50% of the data are lower than this median. And at the same time, no more than 50% of the data are higher than M. So it's, it's the data that is in the center. If, you, if we rank from the lowest to the highest value, the median appears in the center of the array. For example, if we have an array like this, 5, 7, 10, 16, 20, these are five data that are ordered from the lowest one to the highest one. So the data in the middle is the median. So this 10 in this case is the median. So 10 is clearly the median of the previous set. But this is the case when we have an odd number of data. But what happens if we have an even number of data? For example, in this case, so m is equal 10 here. But what happens if we have, uh, in this case, 5, 7, 10, and 16? We have this data set. What is the median? So the median looks like a data here in the center, but in the center there are two data. If that happens, if we have an even number of data, the median will be the average between the two data here in the center, 7 plus 10. So the solution of this will be the average of these two data, so it will be 7 plus 10 over 2, and that gives me 8.5. So in this case, this 8.5 will be the median. Let's, what happens if we have a large data set? Because in the previous example, we can observe easily what is the data in the, mid, in, in, in the center. Okay, if we have n values in the data set, follow, follow the following steps. So if, if this n is, 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 is large, and you cannot see the data in the center easily, Okay, you should arrange the observations in an order of race from the lowest to the highest value. So it will appear like this, x1, x2, x3, x4, until the highest one, xn. I put a sub-index for each of the data just to tell you what is this is the first data, the second data, the third data, but now they are ordered here from the lowest one to the highest one. Okay, that will be the first step, order the rate. The second one is finding what is the position of the median, which one is the, is the position of the median. And this formula helped me to get an, a, an approximately value for, the, for this position. And it will be just dividing the number of data over two, or multiplying the number of data by one half, or 0 0.5 times the number of data. So if you do that, so you are going to find an approximately value for the position of the median. So this i here is the position of the median, or I, I, I will say better, an approximation of the position of the median, and n is the total number of data. So that will be the, the second step. And the third step is depends on if you have a, an even number of data or an odd number of data. So for, from computing, computing from the lowest value, the median is, or sorry, counting from the lowest value, the median is this data. The average between the values in the position i and i plus one, and that is if we get a whole number. And as you know, if you do this one over two, or n divided by two, and you get a whole number, is because n is even, is the only way that you can get i be a whole number. You get i as a whole number when n equal n is even. Because when you divide by 2, an even number, you get a whole number. Eh? So if you get a whole number, or in other words, if this is a, a, an even number of data, then the median will be the average in the of the data in the position i. Remember that i is the number that we got here, the position i, and in the position i plus 1. We're going to see an example. 
And in another situation, when this is not an even number n, then you're gonna get decimals, yeah, decimal places. Actually, the decimal places will be 0.5. If you divide a, a data set uh, that is has an odd number of data and you divide it by two, the number of data divided by two, the answer will be something 0.5. So the data in the position, in this case, you round up the number i and the data in that position will be the the median the data in the position i but rounded to rounded up so in this that happens only if n is a not number okay let's see some examples imagine that we have this number of data 14 20 15 21 22 3 19 etc the data that is here and if we want to to uh, compute the median the first step is to order the data so i'm going to order the data from the lowest to the highest one i think the lowest one is this three the highest one looks like this 22 so i have ordered the data already so this will be the first step order the data from the lowest one to the highest one now get what is the position of the median which will be here in the middle in some part yeah but we can get it exactly if we do this yeah find the median position i equal i over 2 times n this is 0 0.5 times n or n divided by 2 is the same so if you do that so the answer is 1 over 2 times 17 you can count the data there are 17 data here so this is the number of data and 17 over 2 is 8.5 because you get an oh, a number with decimal and you get a number with decimal because you get this is a a, a not number yeah so you get 8.5 then you round this to 9 this is the do all, do, do always that round up do always that in this situation yeah? if you're finding the media so now you know that the the median will be the data in the position number nine. Well, that is the solution, fine. The median will be the data in position number nine. And this is the number 15. You can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This data in the position nine will be the median. So after you get the i, just the only thing that you need to do is start counting, yeah? And you get the the median start counting and when you get the data in that position i so this will be the median in this case look at that i is not exactly the position of the median it's an approximation of the position of the median okay good now let's see what is the other situation if we have an even number of data so again imagine that we have this this set of data the first step will be order the data from the lowest to the highest one. So that will be this situation. So from 3, 4 to until 21. Now we have only 16 data. So, so to find the median of the, now we get the position. Yeah? And we get the position will be i equal one half of n or n divided by 2. That is the same. And that will be equal 16 over 2, or 1 half times 16. So 16 over 2 is 8, yeah? or 0 0.5 times 16 is 8. So because you get a whole number, and you get a whole number because this number is even, then you need to get the average of the data in the position A plus the data in the position 9. So this is the, you get the average between the, between position eight and the next position, position nine. When you get a whole number, then you get the average of this position and the next position, position number eight plus position number nine and divide by two. So it will be 14 plus 15 divided by two and you get 14.5. And this will be the, the, the value of the median. So what is the data in position number A? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This data plus the next data. 14 plus 15 divided by 2. And that gives you the answer. Another possible situation. 
could be, for example, that somebody give you the stem and leaf diagram. Do you remember in a previous video that we compute the stem and leaf diagram of this set of data? So in the first video of this of, of, of this channel, you see the 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 stem and leaf diagram of this data. If you you can do it by again if you want to do it, yeah. So but this is the the stem stem and leaf diagram, yeah. Of the data, 0 0.6 is the smallest one, and 5.2 is the highest number here. Yeah, 5.2. We have a 4.1, 4.1, 4.5, etc. Okay, so there are here 4 times 624 data, yeah? and we want to compute the median. So this is an even number of data. Yeah, so. The data, the median will be the data. Well, let's compute. The, we don't need to order the data because we, it, we, they are already ordered. So the first step is done when you make the stem and leaf diagram. So now the second step is to compute i. i will be 0 .0 0 0.5 times n. So it will be 0 0.5 times 24. And this equal 12. Yeah? So this will equal 12. So this is an even number. So we'll be data in the position number 12 plus the next data divided by 2. Let's get what is the data in the position number 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This data, 2.9, is the data in the position number 12. The next data will be 3.0. So the median will be the average between 2.9 and 3.0. 2.9 plus 3.0, and the, the, divide this by 2, and the answer is 2.95. And this is what you need to do to compute the median. So to compute the median is something easy. Yeah? Something easy. Just range the data from the lowest one to the highest one and find the one in the middle. If you have an even number of data like here, then get the average of the two data in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Now let's see what is the mode. The mode is the data that occurs most frequently. So the data with the highest frequency. So this data will be the this will be very easy to compute. For example, if we have the same set of data that we have previously, then you're gonna see that you're gonna see that the the mean the the the, the sorry the mode will be the one that has the highest frequency. But for doing that, it will be a good idea to order the data again because if you order, for example, we ordered this previously. In a stem and leaf diagram, yeah? so now we, if you order the data, you can see what is the, the one with more repetitions. Yeah? So, for example, here 1.9, 1.9 is, is two times. But here there are something that is repeated more. Yeah? This 3.2 appears three times. No other appears more than three times. No others appear three times. This is the 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 the, the value 3.2 is the value with the highest frequency. So the mode will be 3.2. Another example of the mode is this. We have this data set that is already ordered from the, if you notice from the, from the top to the bottom, they are ordered from, from the lowest one to the highest one. From the top to the bottom, from the left to right. Yeah? So here is the lowest, uh, lowest one, here is the highest value. Okay, it will be easy then to find what is the mode. And I noticed that this 15 occurs four times, this 30 occurs also four times. These two data are the data that, uh, that has highest frequency. So this data, 15 and 30, we, ha we, we say that these two data are the modes. So in this data set, we have two modes. So that could happen. So we can have two modes. And in this case, we say that we have a bimodal data set. So a bimodal data set will be a data set with two modes. 
we can have even some examples of data set that have more than two modes. In this case, we say that we have a multimodal data set. A multimodal data set will be a, a, a set of data that contains more than two modes. And with this example, we conclude, we conclude the explanation of these two measures of central tendency. Thank you.